the EP Podcast. Heard everywhere podcasts can be found. And always at the eppodcast.com. And welcome into the EP Podcast Weekend Update. My name is Chris Lanuti, and for the next few minutes, we're going to give you a quick update on everything going on in and around Evergreen Park. And it's all brought to you by the First National Bank of Evergreen Park. During these uncertain times, the right resources and a strong support system can make all the difference. And the First National Bank of Evergreen Park is here for you. Personalized service, great offers, plus... They provide the steady, reliable support of the entire Wintrust Community Bank family. And now, when EP Podcast listeners open up a total access checking account, they're giving you 300 bucks. And who doesn't need 300 bucks these days? Visit bankevergreenpark.com slash eppod to open that account today. Some of your podcast players may have the link directly there in the show notes. You can click right through. $100 required to open. Requirements to qualify. Must use link to apply. Member FDIC. Most of the schools will be offering in-person learning in the area. There is still time for you to go online and get your vehicle sticker. The remnants of a hurricane are going to come through here this weekend. And my co-host Hannah Beth is going to recount what happened in her hometown this weekend when that large hurricane made landfall. Remember, she's from Louisiana, and she'll compare it to her experience in Katrina. All of that in a very short update episode, but first, your weather. A 91-degree day. On Friday, this weekend, but in the evening, expect it to drop down into the 60s and pour rain. And that's because Hurricane Laura, which made landfall as a Category 4 and was still a Category 2 hundreds of miles inland, is now a tropical depression and making its way up the middle of the country towards us. It's going to cool things off 70s on Saturday and Sunday here in the EP, partly cloudy, but a low chance of rain during the day. Monday, it gets back into the 80s with a bunch of sun. On that day, the regular main EP podcast, 30 Minutes of Good in a World of Dumb, comes out on demand. We'll be speaking to a local Evergreen Park woman who wants to help women start businesses right here in Evergreen Park. We're also bringing back the EP podcast car magnet contest for the fall. Details on how to get your car magnets and win lots of cash and prizes coming up on Monday. That and so much more. Make sure you are subscribed. Remember, we're live Thursday nights, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on the Podbean app. It's free. Download it. You can call in or chat in the live chat room. The weekend update you're hearing now comes out on Fridays and the big show on Mondays. Subscribe anywhere podcasts can be found and always at the eppodcast.com. Remember, you can still buy your vehicle sticker online. The new Sticker Quicker service gives you the opportunity to order online with a credit card and eliminate the need to go into the Village Hall. All you have to do is go to evergreenpark-ill.com. They got the link right there or give them a call 708-422-1551 for help and details. We've talked about this already, but the Evergreen Park Public Library is now welcoming back students. Here's how this is going to work. They've got seating for 12 to 15 individual students. They cannot put any more in the building, and they can't bring anybody in for non-library purposes. So that means, folks, don't designate the library as your after-school pickup point for your student. It's not going to work this year. Computer access is limited to an hour. Study room is to 90 minutes because of high demand. Remember the three W's, wear a mask, watch your distance, and wash your hands. And Nikki Seidel over at the library has told me there's going to be new hours starting on Tuesday, September the 8th, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Seniors and vulnerable individuals encouraged to visit between 9 and 10 a.m. That new setup is going to allow for in-library programming to return. They always have the best stuff over there. They're going to have physically distanced seating for up to 25 for these programs, and they're going to offer them online through Zoom. So those that can't make it to the library can still participate. 
Everything from art demonstrations, live piano music, a live World War II radio hour, government discussions, and even Home Brewing 101 with our good friend John Brand and his head brewer, Will Turner, from Open Outcry. 9400 South Troy. More details go to evergreenparklibrary.org. It was a tumultuous week, but guess what? School's back. The co-interim superintendents of District 124 were on this show just a few weeks ago talking about the plan for parents to decide individually, do I want to send my kid to school? Do I want to keep them at home for at-home learning? And then last weekend, everything went crazy. An article came out in the patch that seemed to insinuate in the headline that 10 teachers had tested positive. Now, we tried to clear that up on Monday's show, saying 10 teachers were in COVID protocol. It could be one positive test and nine that are in protocol as a result. Turns out it was a little bit more like how we described it. But the admin board decided to recommend that everything would start remotely for D124 schools. But then the school board voted six to one in an emergency meeting to stick with the original plan. So it's pushed back a little bit, but starting on Thursday, September the 3rd, kids are going to start going in for in-person learning and remote learning at home. Over 70 comments came in from the public. The school board has released all these comments for people to read. They took all of that into account and have decided to press forward. And in the last couple of days, we've seen statements from not only the co-interim superintendents, but also the Evergreen Park Federation of Teachers. Both basically saying something we talked about on Monday. Let people make their personal choice. We're all in this together. We want to be able to offer in-person learning and at-home learning. We just want to make sure that we're working together and doing the best possible thing for the kids and the teachers. So what seemed like a crisis may have been averted. Meanwhile, all the Catholic grammar schools are back in. Mother Macaulay and Brother Rice is back in. And with a kid at Macaulay, a kid at Redeemer, and a kid at Southwest... I'm happy I had a choice. All the best to the teachers that are putting themselves in harm's way for the kids and the families that need them. Major League Baseball is one of the most messed up major organizations in all the world, and they're somehow halfway through a baseball season. If they can do it, I think we can too, guys. A hurricane hit this country. It was down in Louisiana. Most of us don't know what that feels like. On the Thursday night live show, joined by our guest, Nicole Monet, you're going to hear her talk about women in business in Evergreen Park coming up on Monday was sitting at the 9-foot homemade oak bar. Those that were listening live already heard this, but Hannah Beth talked about not only what happened in her hometown over the last couple of days in Louisiana, but how it compared to her experience in Katrina years ago. It was unexpected, but it was really interesting. So we're going to finish off the weekend update with Hannah Beth and her story. Right here on the EP Podcast, found everywhere podcasts can be found and always at the EPPodcast.com. An Irish pub created by two neighborhood families right here in Evergreen Park, nestled on the quiet little street called 99th. And it has quickly become a Southside tradition. I'm talking about Porter Cullens. Voted the best Irish pub the last four years by the Chicago Tribune. Their menu is filled with unique and inspired takes on traditional Irish and American classics that are sure to satisfy all your taste and cravings. This includes their incredible... Guinness battered fish and chips, and the best homemade corned beef you can find. With a family friendly atmosphere, Porter Cullens is certified by Guinness to give you the perfect pour. A hidden gem on the south side with a downtown feel located right here in Evergreen Park, Porter Cullens has comfortable seating indoors and outdoors. Located at 3541 West 99th Street in Evergreen Park, learn more at Porter Cullens. Com. I, w- I was looking forward to your Louisiana friends giving me a call tonight, but they, they none of them have any power. Uh, yeah, well, it's pretty bad. Uh, Hannah's from <laughs> Hannah's from the Bayou. They took a direct like, hit. She has yeah. been she has been all day on Facebook reposting video from people that she knows down there in the middle of the storm. So like uh, it was it has been a vicious day down there, rough. and I know it's and you know we we can't we would be remiss if we didn't bring it up. This is Hannah's hometown, yeah. and and her home state. And what is it like right now in your hometown with your family? Um, it was more of a wind storm than it was a lot of rain and storm surge. So my mom is in Alexandria, Louisiana. She's probably about 150 miles, you know, from the coast, right. from Lake Charles, from where it hit in the southwest coast by the Texas border. And normally, so a Category 4 hit 
normally as soon as hurricanes hit land or right before they start to deteriorate, they start to fall apart. This one didn't. This one was still a Category 2 when it got to Alexandria, Louisiana. Now how far inland is About it? About 150 miles inland. Wow. It still had an eye, and it was still a Category 2. Normally, it would be downgraded to a tropical storm by that point. Right. It was a Cat 2. My mom said, starting at 2 o'clock this morning, the wind, the band that came through where they are, the sustained winds were 110 miles an hour. What side of the wall was she on? Do you, does she the know? The east, northeast. That's the bad side. So when you see the when you see the video, because I've seen all these videos from space of it coming in, there's this massive lightning storm happening on the on the east side, the northeast side of it. Well, as it's, well. A, it's the lightning storm. You but the to be worried about is the the wind because that storm is is rotating counterclockwise. Okay, and it's just building that momentum and building that momentum. How many of these you've been in? Like California people are always like, I've been in like seven like earthquakes. I like, don't I'm know. In, I'm how many in hurricanes? Puerto Rico over here. I'm sorry, what? Puerto Rico over here. Puerto Rico? Oh, yeah. You've been in yeah. a few hurricanes, I would imagine. I, Maria. I was around. No, I, yeah. I wasn't well, there for have, Maria. My family any, yeah. was okay. there for Maria. That was rough. Yeah. So, um, but I was there for George back. Oh, that was gosh, in the like, 90s. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a really hard one. Lots of crops were lost for people. Like, yeah. That's their, that's yeah. their it's, way of living, you know. It's, it's, it's tough. Hard. I don't think mm-hmm. we get it up here because we no. really you, just, you don't? Like, to us, it's like, okay, a couple days from now, it's going to be a really pretty sky because the thing is broken up and there might be a little storm or something like that, and there'll be a rainbow. Like, that's what we're going to get. No, but That's what we're going to get. We're going to get a weird colors in the sky in two nights, and our kids are going to be like, ooh, like, we are not going to experience this thing. So, you know, if you were to take, like, the, the, the cyclone, the hurricane, and just put an axis in the middle of it uh, with quadrants, that northeast quadrant is the most dangerous for the storm surge. Again, you have that counterclockwise momentum. And that's, that's where, pushing that's the where water, your hometown was. Pushing is, the where, wind. Yeah. So that's your why you family was in that. That's why you didn't hear a lot of talk about Houston. Houston was, you know, right next to the storm, but they were on the weak side of the storm. Right. So from... At 2 o'clock this morning at my mom's, uh, the winds were sustained at 110. And at 6 o'clock this morning, the sustained winds were still 55. That's not gust. That's like constant wind. Wow. It was blowing that bad. She, she said not a lot of rain, not a lot of rain, but it was just everyone says the wind is just insane. Now, in Lake Charles, a uh, suburb of Lake Charles, right um, when you cross into Calcasieu Parish on I-10 coming from the east, there's um, a refinery plant and there's a town called Westlake. And, you know, uh, Danae, anyone who knows me knows Danae grew up with me and my sister. She's like my other sister, but that's where she lives now. She lives in Westlake. And, you know, she and her husband uh, evacuated with their cats. They went to Dallas, stayed at a friend's house and glad they did. A big tree fell like right across, you know, their carport on their house. And the chemical plant in Westlake uh, caught fire. So there's these massive, massive flames and just plumes of. So this thing I'm seeing, on, this thing I'm horrible. seeing on the news with the chemical plant on fire. This is your friend's town. It's right by Danae's house. That, yeah, because I've been reading and about this. They have this massive chemical fire yes, going on right now. And her neighbors are texting her saying that our our eyes and our throats are burning because it's chlorine that's leaking out. Oh, and that stuff that'll kill you. Yeah, that chlorine so stuff will kill so, you. So you know they're telling everybody lock yourself inside, close your windows, do not run. If you have a generator hooked up to your air conditioner, do not run your air conditioner. Tomorrow the heat Don't index. Don't run your ear, air conditioner either. Yeah. Oh, at that point, I'm just tomorrow, wrapping a towel around my face and I'm driving away from it. Yeah, I think tomorrow, I would take my chances index, and get out of town. The heat index is 106. Yeah, I would take my chances and get out of town on that so, one. I, mean, I might some be wrong, can. but I would you be know, one of those people easy. who be like, I'm on the You know, I'm on I wanted to slap Jim Cantori so many times last night. Not everybody has the luxury of getting into a car and having somewhere to go. Right. To evacuate You offered too. to bring everybody from New Orleans to your house. I did. Yeah, she goes on Facebook. And nobody Hannah, took me up on Hannah, it. Yeah, well, you know, your husband was probably very thankful of that because you went on Facebook and said, anybody who wants to come to Chicago and live with us this week yes. can come. Like you had the possibility of 100 to 200 people showing up on your front lawn. How awesome. People that you just happened to be friends with 10 years ago that you I haven't seen in a while. I would love to see these people I haven't seen in 10 no, years. No, those people that you haven't seen in 10 years, there's a reason for that. They probably were weird and you cut them out of your life. You just don't want to admit <laughs> no. it. Like if I start running into people that I didn't see for the last 10 or 20 years, like, we talk for a few minutes, and they'd be like, yeah, now I remember why we haven't kept in touch. Yeah. Like, that's the problem with Facebook. Like, I, I kind of get it now. <laughs> I understand. This is why I haven't called you. There's something. Yeah, now now it is. Well, oh, reason, and you're living with me? The, oh, great. Well, the reason I was, you know, telling them to evacuate, you know, if they wanted to come up here, don't evacuate the storm. People think you evacuate the storm. 
You are evacuating the aftermath. You are evacuating because once a storm passes, there's nothing but hot, stagnant, humid heat that just sits there. And for like a week, it is just oppressively hot and humid behind right. a hurricane. That's what you evacuate from. That's the thing that really gets you. That's what you want to uh, get away from. We have a comment in here right now uh, for, in our chat room, and here it is. I'm wondering why people stay around New Orleans. Hannah left. I was on the first flight in after Katrina to relieve paramedics there and spent one week in the uh, carnage. Why don't people leave like Hannah? But you've kind of explained it. Some people can't. Okay, number one, it's home. If my husband would say the words... Tomorrow, we would sell the house and move back home. No, I no, would go back to New Orleans. Why not now, leave? during a hurricane, okay, not everybody has a car. Okay. Okay, you have a lot of impoverished areas. They don't, if the if the bus doesn't go there, they don't go anywhere. And then, let's say, like, they do get a ride. Where is it going to take them? They right. don't have money for a hotel. They're coming to your house. They're going to my house. They're, They're coming to your go house because you're on Facebook saying anybody just, wants to come. You know, you just Then it gets can't. shared by somebody who's like a distant friend, <laughs> and then you got a bunch of strangers standing at your door. But no, people, they okay. some people, they just don't you got have Nicole's, the means You got to Nicole's leave. family from Puerto Rico showing up. Everyone's you're like, who are these people? Over. Right. Everyone's going to come Everybody's over. Everybody's coming during a hurricane. You're a hurricane shelter now is what you've just declared yeah. yourself. And what was funny was after she did that, she went on Facebook the next day and said, it's a beautiful day. Does anybody want to come over to my pool? And one of the comments in that was, you just invited half the state of Louisiana to your house. I don't want COVID. That so was said, literally, I'm not coming to your COVID den. I'm not coming to your COVID den because you just invited <laughs> half of a state to your house. <laughs> the COVID den. But no, it's really, it's just a reality. Some people just don't, it's a luxury to be able to leave. It really is. Number one, you have to have the transportation. You have to have the money for the fuel. You have to have somewhere to stay, be it a hotel. If you don't have family or friends out of town, you are going to be staying at a shelter if you can find one. If you have pets, most shelters will not take pets. A lot of people will not leave their home without their pets. And that led to a lot of deaths after Katrina. So there are valid reasons why some people, they don't stay because we want to ride out the storm. They cannot leave. They're not able to leave. And that's a scary thing. You try to help them as much as you can, but, you know, and they have to know the risk. You know, emergency services are not coming out to you until sustained winds are below 35 miles an hour. So if it's 50 miles an hour and your house catches on fire from something or something terrible happens, you know, you fall out having a heart attack, no one's coming for you. Mm -hmm. So, you know... They have that risk that they have to carry. So there's nothing good that comes out of a hurricane. Absolutely nothing good that comes out of a hurricane. But don't assume that everyone is just staying because they want to have a hurricane party and just be idiots. I mean, that's so rare. If you knew how rare that was. I want to say this is agree. the most that Hannah has ever <laughs> spoken on the show. She is so fired up. Because it's something I know incredible. about. <laughs> I mean, I could have literally just sat here and drank two bottles of oh, wine. Oh, I can, I can keep going. And let you just run well, you the know show. Well, you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is the 15 year anniversary from Katrina. Ah. 15. Yeah. Two, yesterday was the anniversary. I call it the day of my life and started over again. And I did not ask for it, did not want it. And I sometimes still ask myself, did I want my life to start over again? It so just Hannah, came by you force. Left because of Katrina? Or? Yes, I left. Oh. Um, I was uh, one of the last vehicles out before they closed down the interstates. Like my great grandma called and she was crying. I thought, well, like, all right, I'll come home for nanny. I brought like a change of clothes. And a week later, they finally let us in. Um, you know, we were under martial law where shoot to kill. You know, hey, the police tell you to do something. You do it. Right. You don't do it. They're going to kill you. There was a lot of stuff going on. There, yeah. There you know, we had helicopters. But like by the time we got back to my house, um, I had just bought a whole bunch of meat, um, you know, with my student loan money that came in the beginning of the semester, my last semester of college. I always would stock up on a lot of meat. And that's what I would eat, you know, for dinner or lunch, you know, throughout the semester. It, oh, that smell. The refrigerator just had just liquid just oozing out of it. Ugh. And my jewelry armoire is one of the few pieces of furniture I still have. And it's lined in the green felt. When it's really muggy and humid, you open up those side doors. I swear to God, you get hit with the Katrina smell. Really? And it's just its own smell of rot and mud and mildew and decay it's just a smell that will never get out of your head. If anybody knows how to redo furniture, I think you need to... I don't want it redone. She wants the smell. You don't know what she, she wants the smell. That, that's my reminder. Look at all those people in this great suburb driving down 95th and Ked Z. What a great place. It's called Evergreen Park, but we know it better as the EP. 
We're known for more than just the Unabomber. Remember Ted Kaczynski? You guys might even remember that big old rooster on 95th Street. It's all part of EP's history. So listen up to the EP podcast. You might be asking why. Because we talk about all things and we celebrate all the great things in the 60805. It's the EP podcast. All things Evergreen Park. It's the EP podcast. Evergreen Park. The EP podcast. Heard everywhere podcasts can be found and always at the eppodcast.com.